Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're unboxing the HTC 10. Now, this is the successor to the HTC One M9, which was before that M8 and before that M7. So they just dropped the M, that's what they did. Now, HTC, as I'm sure you know, has been struggling. Um, I'm personally an HTC fan, um, as is just about every Android fan that I know. At some point, they were an avid HTC enthusiast, and then everybody just realized that HTC kind of dropped the ball. Um, no one really can point out when. Some say, you know, the, the 4 megapixel camera in the M8 or, or just various other things, right? Because HTC really still does make great phones. And I know a few people like that, that just kind of just don't, they don't buy HTC anymore. But they all kind of had that nostalgic feeling in their heart for the company. Uh, the M9 was a good phone. But it wasn't great. The camera was good, but it wasn't great. Because at the time, Samsung and Apple and LG had amazing, while HTC had good. Um, so I started seeing reviews today for this phone. Uh, I guess the embargo was lifted around noon. <laughs> so yeah, I started seeing reviews. It says HTC redeems itself. And you never know, because anytime an embargo is lifted, that, and that, that's usually what it means when you see a review get posted by 20 different sites at the same time. Um, and those sites tend to give good reviews mainly because these are the guys that got the pre-release units. They got the phone two weeks ago when, when, you know, I had to get one today. And the, and the reason for this is because they give good reviews. That's why you would give a blog a, a phone ahead of time because you know, they're going to do right by you. All right. So here we have it. The HTC 10, we have a fingerprint reader down here. Now, I also have the HTC One A9, which is a phone that I'm a huge fan of. Actually, I have it right here. Um, I love this phone. I thought it was the best phone of 2015. Um, like I said, the, the M9 had an issue with the camera and an issue... It also had an issue with the display, where anything that was white actually looked, at like, looked like it was tinted green a bit. Um, and they, they fixed that, both of those things in the A9, with phase detect, autofocus in the camera, and an AMOLED display. Now, this camera looks awesome as far as specs go, um, but they, they stuck with LCD on the display. And that's, I gotta say, that's the one thing that I am nervous about with this phone. We can also see if we, if we look past the layer of plastic here. They did get rid of the, the front speakers. They did promise boom sound. So boom sound, what it used to, what it used to really mean was the front-facing speakers, but those are, are clearly gone. Box here. By the way, we do have USB Type C, as you can see here, which is great. Another phone with USB Type C. I'm always a fan of companies adopting new technology. I have a Nexus 5X here. I have a Microsoft Lumia 950 in the other room, so that's that's always good. Right. Okay, so we've got our USB-C cable. It's a USB-A to USB-C, um, and it's a USB-C um, adapter, a USB-A adapter here. Uh, yeah, you know, a lot, a lot of companies are doing this. Where um, what the Microsoft Lumia 950 did, it it gave you um, a power adapter, so it wasn't a data cable that was plugged into this, and then they gave you a, a USB-A to USB-C data cable. So you you actually had two chargers if you had one of these lying around. Now the Nexus 5X, that actually gave you a USB-C power adapter here and then just a USB-C to USB-C cable. Right. So um, it, I guess it, it helps to have this thing lying around if you have a PC that has a USB-A jack, which pretty much all of us still do. Um, I'm just, I'm always a fan of, of adapting new technologies. So, all right, here we go. Welcome. We're gonna start. The screen, First of all, the screen looks great. Um, that's something I, I wasn't expecting because, to be honest, HTC screens have not historically been great, uh, at least the LCDs, because, again, if you, if you have an M9 nearby, and you can't unsee this, and I'm sorry, you, you might want to shut off this video when I say it, but the, the, the color accuracy is so off, or the grayscale accuracy is so off that, that the... Anything that's supposed to be white looks like it's tinted green. All right, so we can set up a, a fingerprint reader here and let's see how that goes. All right, so we're gonna draw a pattern, 
Sure, require patterns, dark device. Let's give it this. Let's hope I remember that. I can always refer to the video. All right, confirm. And we're gonna show all notification content. Let's see how the fingerprint reader works here. Um, touch the... All right, so um, it works, uh, I mean, like a, a standard fingerprint reader setup. I gotta say, with the with the Nexus... The Nexus 5X had the best fingerprint reader setup that I've seen. You you just tap your finger down five or six times. It doesn't ask you to move your finger around. And, and that's that's really just just it. All right. So as we can see, um, it's it, the design is still pretty similar to the to the one series that we know. Um, the, there's flatter edges here. That's that's really the only difference. Um, last year when the M9 came out, people said, oh, it's just an incremental update. And that was really just because the body hadn't changed. And still, the body hasn't changed a whole lot, but people seem a lot more enthusiastic about this. And for good reason. Um, the display, I gotta say the display looks a lot better. The camera should be a lot better. Right, we have 12 megapixels, um, which seems to be the sweet spot. Everybody seems to be going for 12 megapixels. Samsung, Google, Apple, everybody seems to be sitting at that sweet spot. Um, it has optical image stabilization, laser autofocus, all right? Not phase detect autofocus like the A9 had, but laser autofocus should serve the same means and it should work in the fog and low light as well. F1.8 aperture, one two point thirds inches sensor size, however you say that, one over 2.3 inches. Yeah, 1.55 nanometer pixel size or micrometer, whatever it is. Um, autofocus, stuff like that. 4K video, 1080p, 60 frames per second. The camera looks like it's going to be awesome. Okay, so um, yeah, that's... Wow, and, and uh, it's, it's a really... It's an all-new design to the camera app. You know, and when you're in the camera app, you notice there are no um, on-screen buttons here. You have the home button, and then you have some a back button, and the multitasking button are all hardware buttons, which, honestly, I'm a fan of hardware buttons because when you have on-screen buttons, they always get in the way. There, there's occasionally a game that doesn't, that doesn't push them out of the way or something, so I, I, I prefer the, the hardware buttons personally. Um, other than that, we have a 1440p Super LCD Five. Um, great. It looks great. I don't care what kind of display technology they use as long as it looks great. So that's fine. Um, Snapdragon 820, which is what we're going to see for most of the flagships, at least in the first half of this year. Four gigs of RAM, 32 and 64 gigabyte models, up to 200 gigabyte SD card. Um, Adreno 530 GPU, which is what comes with the, with the uh, Snapdragon 820 standard. You can also see we have the regular... Blink feed here, which came to uh, HTC Sense and Sense 6. Um, but there's a lot of cool stuff here. Um, I'm going to write up a few comparisons over the next couple of weeks. For now, I do have a system update to install. Um, but I'm going to compare it to the iPhone 6S Plus. I'll probably do a camera comparison with uh, one of the Lumias, like the Lumia 950. Uh, might compare it to the Galaxy Note 5. I don't have the Galaxy S7 around anymore to, to compare it to, which I would have loved to do um, because they're both Snapdragon 820. Anyway, guys, I'm going to install this update. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.